Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. Previously I did a video talking about identifying and benchmarking your computer and I said something like uh, you could use Bellarc Advisor which uh, made an HTML page with uh, your computer details on and then I showed you something like NovaBench uh, which compares your computer against other people's and gives you a score. Now, I knew when I made that video that I was missing something out and I've forgotten the name of it only I'm, and now, only now, about a week or two weeks later, it's just come to me, this, this program that I was using. Um, it's called Everest. Uh, you can get an Ultimate Edition, I think a Professional Edition or something, but they cost money. Uh, that You can get Home Edition and it won't cost a penny. So what this does is, this is much more simple than the other ones that I've shown because it shows it all sort of graphically and then shows you all the stuff that your computer can do. So I'm just going to start it up and show you. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to leave the link to this in the description. So it's doing several things and you'll notice straight away as we open it up, it's got computer, motherboard, display, multimedia, storage, network, direct decks, devices and the benchmark key. Now um, you can go into these with the tree here. Um, if I just show you the first, or I just say um, summary. You can say my, my operating system, my computer name, my username. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't know my motherboard, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, my system memory, video adapter, um, my monitor name. <laughs> uh, several things that I've got in my computer that it's, um, it knows, and it knows all the partitions and um, problems and suggestions as well. Disk-free disc space is only 2% on drive H. Well, that's because it's my recovery drive, so I can't really do much about that. But hey, uh, so you've got several options here. Overclock might be useful for some people. It just looks like it shows you about the processor and uh, several things about it, FSB and whatever. I don't know what most of this means. I don't overclock my PC because it's, um, it's an HP uh, OEM computer and you can't overclock these, so... Um, you have to build your own usually to overclock your PC. But anyway, um, power management shows you about the power. This will probably be useful for laptops because then it shows you the lifetime of your battery. Um, sensor, so I suppose this is for the temperatures, things like that. So there's several things here that you can use. These are all the motherboard options. Display. This can show you um, quite a few bits of information about your display. I think it has like a tick box where it shows you all the stuff that your thing could do. There we go, desktop effects desktop properties, OpenGL, and uh, it shows you all the things that your your um, your uh, graphics card supports and you know it's like, it goes fairly in depth and um, it does other things as well, it does storage, network, DirectX and uh, devices. Now the other thing is the benchmark. Now I think there is more benchmarks available for um, in the Ultimate Edition or the Professional Edition or whatever edition it is that you have to pay for uh, this seems to only have me memory read, memory write, memory latency so I'm just going to run a memory read test now what it does is it shows me uh, some other people's computers it tells me that they've got dual DDR2-667 N4 so the top one here CPU 7630 megabytes a second and it says CPU clock is that, motherboard is that, chipset so I'm just going to, what it says is press refresh button to start the, the benchmark so I'm pressing it and it's going to run a benchmark against my computer and I'm not supposed to move the mouse or have anything running but I'm going to have to have locked up, there we go so uh, mine is uh, 5686 so it's 6th uh, from the top so Pentium 4's are down here so <laughs> it's not actually that good Athlon 64 <laughs> so um, yes yeah, so that's quite poor really so it doesn't know my uh, motherboard randomly and my memory so um, yeah, so you can do some uh, memory benchmarks and you can find out several things about your computer. So this might be useful for anyone. Um, so check it out. I'll provide the link in the description. And um, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.